Aloha! In this video, I'm going to show you how you can sort the items in a list box knowing just what we know now. We will start with a form with a text box to enter a name, a list box to store the names as we enter them, and a button that will copy the name from the text box into the list box. We've also set the accept property of the form to, to the add name event handler. That'll make it easier for us to enter names. To accomplish the sort, we are only going to use the following list box properties and methods. We're going to use items count, we're going to use selected index, and selected item, and we're going to use the items.add method and the items.clear method. We're also going to use the string.compare method to compare names. And we're going to add the following controls to our form. We're going to add a, a, a list box to store the result. And we're going to add a couple of temporary list boxes to store our intermediate results. And then, of course, we're going to add a button to invoke the sort. So let's go ahead and add these extra controls to our form. So I'm going to make the form a little bit bigger. Let's uh, copy paste this uh, result, this names list box, and name it result, list result. And then let's add a couple of temporary list boxes here. One here and another one here. And let's name this one LST temp1 and let's name this one LST temp2. And I'm not going to worry about the size or anything because we're going to end up making these hidden at the end because uh, uh, the user doesn't need to see these. And then let's add uh, this button to invoke the sort. And I'm going to name this one BTN sort. And I'm going to have it say sort. All right. Uh, let's, uh, let's just see how this works uh, to start out with. And uh, let's add some names. And the way our, our sort is going to work is we're first going to copy the names from here down into this first temporary list box. And then we're going to take a pass through this first temporary list box to identify the lowest name. And then, once we've done that, we're going to take a second pass through this first list box. And with each name, if it's the lowest name, that we've determined, we're going to copy it up into this result list box. If it's not the lowest name, we're just going to copy it over into the second list box. So when we're done with the second pass, the, the lowest name will be in the upper right list box here, and all the rest of the names will be over in the second list box. Then we'll copy the names from the second list box back over to the first list, list box again, and do the same thing over again. So uh, when we're all done, we will have copied all the lowest names in order into this result list box, and uh, there should be no more names to copy from the second list box back over to the first list box, and then we'll be done. You'll see how this works. Okay, let's stop this, and let's double click on the sort here to get that event handler going, and uh, in the interest of time here, I'm just going to copy over this code that I've written already and I'll go through it so you can see how it works. So let me copy this and let's paste it over here. Paste. And here we are. Uh, so we start out by, uh, we're, we're clearing the temporary list box just in case it has, any, has anything in it. It's possible um, when we're debugging it's got some stray names in there, so we're doing that. And so here we're actually uh, copying over the names from the names list box. Uh, I from 1 to the, to the number in there. 
And uh, starting with the lowest index, we're, we're going to set selected index equal to the I. And then that's going to, uh, and then we'll be able to use the selected item property to grab out the name. This, is, this will be the index of that name, and this is the selected prop, this is the uh, name itself. And so we're going to add that name into the first temporary list box. So when this loop is done, the first temporary list box contains all the names that the uh, names list box contained, all the names we've entered in. And then, um, this is the outer loop here, I'll, I'll, I'll return to that. Uh, so, so here, in here, we, f we identify the, the lowest name in the temp first temporary list box. <clears throat> so um, we start out just by setting the lowest uh, name to, to uh, the first item, which is, which is fine. And then we loop one item at a time using the same method we used up here. Uh, the index from zero up to the, the items count. And um, we grab out the name. And then we compare the name with the lowest name that we've determined. And if this new name is, is if the lowest name is greater than the name we just grabbed out, then we have a new low. So we want to set the, the low to this new low that we just determined. Uh, so if, if this is greater than zero, then that means that name is less than lowest, and so we want to set lowest to that new lower name. <clears throat> so, so when this loop is done, we do in fact have a lowest name for, for all the names in that first temporary list box. Uh, this is a message box here, which I'm going to uncomment, and so that way as we see the loop go, we should be able to uh, see each time what it identified as the lowest name. All right, uh, now here in this loop, we're going to go through each name in the first list box, and if that name is equal to the lowest name, it's going to get copied up into the result list box. If the name we grab out, we're going to go through all the names, if the, if, each, if the name we grab out is equal to the lowest, then that's added to the result list box. Otherwise, it's just added over into the second temporary list box. So when this loop is done, the lowest name is, has been added to the result list box, and all the rest of them are in the temporary list box, in the, in the second temporary list box. Okay? So then what we're going to do is we're going to copy all of the names in the second temporary list box back over to the first temporary list box, and so in the first temporary list box has got the set of all the remaining names and then we're going to go back and we're going to loop again. We're going to do the same thing again. We're going to find the, the lowest name in the first temporary list box <clears throat> and then we're going to copy over all the names, uh, the lowest name being added to the result list box, the remaining names added to the second temporary list box and then we're going to copy them back over again and each time there should be at least one less name in the uh, copy back over into the first list box, the first temporary list box, until finally there are no more names to copy over. And then we're done. So let's, uh, let's um, run this and see what it looks like. Here we are. So let's add some names. John... Paul, George, Ringo, and let's add, uh, let's add George again. And let's try to sort this and see what it does. So the first name is George. That's the lowest one. And look, there's two of them. Uh, okay. And both Georges get copied over. And what's left is John, Paul, and Ringo. And the new low is John, so let's click OK, and then John gets copied over, and what's left is Paul and Ringo, 
and then Paul is the lowest one, so let's click OK. And Paul gets copied over, and then all that's left is Ringo. That's the lowest one, obviously. We click OK, and then we're done. Okay, so we see that uh, with John, Paul, George, Ringo, and George, the sorted names would be George, George, John, Paul, and Ringo in alphabetical order. Okay, great. Let's uh, see what this looks like when we uh, run this quickly. Let's uh, get rid of this message box here and uh, run this again. And uh, here we are. And so we can say uh, John, Peter, Nikki, Davy, Michael, Ringo. And we can just sort. And it just very quickly saw it flash down here. Davy, John, Michael, Nikki, Peter, Ringo. Those are sorted in order. Let's exit. And so what we can do last is we can click on this and make it invisible. Click on this, make it invisible. We can shrink up this form a little bit and uh, run it one final time. And we can say Peter, Mickey, Michael, Davy, John, Ringo, Paul, George, and let's see, uh, George passed away, I think John has passed away, Peter just passed away, and um, Davy passed away. And uh, if we sort these, there we are, Davy, Davy, George, George, John, John, Michael, Mickey, Paul, Peter, Peter, Ringo. Sorted in alphabet order. All right, so that's how we sort some sort the contents of a list box without any arrays, uh, without knowing about um, indexing items or anything else. Thanks for watching.